us are ready to go. Hey, I told you guys something special was about to happen, and um, we're ready to go. And we're going to talk about the HBCU game of the week. We get an opportunity to cover the Elizabeth City State University Vikings. will be taking on the Livingstone College Bears uh, this weekend. And right about now, we get the chancellor for Elizabeth City State yes, University, sir. Dr. Kerry Dixon, joining us to talk a little uh down East Classic. Good morning, Doc, uh, Dr. Dixon. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited to join the show. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you on. I haven't seen you in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> have seen yes, you in two yes. Weeks. Look, when we get together, we always have a great time, right? Yeah, that is that is the, that is the expectation, and today is no different. So talk about this Down East Classic. Talk about the, the game, what it means. The university, why you guys are doing this, and give yes. us a little insight on uh, what this means to the region and what you guys are going to be doing. Definitely. So we are excited to host the Down East Football Classic again this year. The, we are actually celebrating 25 years. This is nice. our 25th anniversary of having this classic in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. So we will be hosting the Livingstone Ice Bears and. Uh, we're going to be very excited to see Livingstone on the gridiron once again. But it's definitely a full weekend. Uh, the weekend actually starts first thing tomorrow mm. at 9 a.m. Wow. with our golf tournament. And it is sold out. So we're excited about our golf tournament. And we're going to have a high school education day where our admissions counselors are going to some of the local high schools to talk about the great education uh, that uh, our prospective students will get from Elizabeth City State University. And then we are going to do something different this year. Uh, typically, over the last 25 years, well, 24 years, uh, we've had a dinner on Friday with right. both mm. football teams. And okay. this year, we're going to do something different. We're going to have a fan fest. And the fan fest, we're going to host our alumni, fans, family, friends at the Doubletree Hotel in Rocky Mount, which is our host hotel. Right. And they're going to be able to meet the team and engage the team. And I'm excited that our AD, James DeBose, came up with this idea because, you know, often we hear our fans say, well, we don't really get to meet the players. You know, mm -hmm. when can we meet the players? <laughs> so this is going to be a great opportunity for our fans to come to the Double Tree for Fan Fest, meet the players, take pictures, do autographs, whatever it is they want to do so that nice. they can get to know their Viking team. Wow, man. Again, we're so excited. Always a pleasure to talk to this, this outstanding leader, Dr. Kerry this and the Chancellor of Elizabeth City State University. And Chancellor, I, I'd be remiss if I don't give you a chance to talk about your university. I mean, you guys are doing so many great things down there, and we had a chance to hear some of those things a couple of weeks ago during the HBCU panel discussion over in Chapel Hill. But just highlight the aviation, the drones and everything, all those things you're doing over there is so exciting over there. Oh, yes. Very exciting. And I think, you know, when I was on the show before, we were still trying to uh, identify our niche yes. and what it was that makes us different and distinct as a, a university within the University of North Carolina system and then out as a HBCU yep. right here in our country. And one thing that um, I would say specifically about ECSU, this year we celebrated 131 years, mm. um, our founding. And so we were founded in 1891. And, you know, when I started at ECSU, and I think you heard me say this before, I was looking for the niche, what yep. makes us different, what makes us distinct. And and yep. it was right there, right mm -hmm. there, aviation science. We're the only university in mm. North Carolina offering a four-year degree Difference. in aviation science. So we are producing uh, pilots, both private and commercial. We're producing um, air traffic control uh, alums who are going off and, and directing planes as they go up and as they <laughs> land safely. Uh, wow. We have avionics, we have aviation management. And then in fall 2019, we started the only four year degree program in unmanned aircraft systems, also known as drones. Um, mm -hmm. And so we are excited about, uh, you know, just being able to offer a quality education at an affordable price as we are an NC Promise campus. So tuition is only $500 mm, nice. per semester for in-state students and $2,500 per semester for out-of-state students. So this is an exciting time for us. We're offering the degree. We're working with the airline industry. And as you know, I mean, we've seen it on the news. There's yep. an influx, in, influx right now of, of retirements in the aviation industry. So we're producing 
all of the future um, opportunities for our students in the aviation in industry and beyond. And so we're really excited about this signature program we have at Elizabeth City mm. State University. And we just signed a partnership with United Airlines as well. And they're mm. going to look wow. to hire over 5,000 um, employees over the next 10 years. And so looking at that really helps. And one thing about that United Airline Partnership, not only are they looking for pilots, they're looking for all of our students from the standpoint of business and finance and how the, how the airline industry is run operationally. And so it's an exciting uh, time for us. And we want everybody to come see our aviation program and I think you remember we started, I, we own two airplanes. We yes, now yes. own 13 airplanes. <laughs> so we have our own aircraft. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's, that'll, that'll be pretty nice to go on a campus visit and say, Wow, they have planes here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, wow. I like, got 13 of them. <laughs> so, I mean, yes. that, that, that well, alone look, You can incredible. always go on a discovery flight. We <laughs> offer discovery flights. So wow. one of our students will take you up if you're ready for it. Well, wow. I'm not, uh, okay. <laughs> see, some universities you go that's to. A, that's a field trip. That's you, a real field look, trip there. They go to <laughs> and say, hey, we got, we got fish on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Dixon, you know, you go to her camp and say, hey, we can take you on a flight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you want to fly? We can take you on a flight. Yes. Oh, a man. So, Dr. That, man, that is outstanding. Yeah. That is wonderful. I, you know, I honestly, just seeing the growth, just seeing, you know, what you have cultivated sure. there, just the environment, and then students, you know, alumni wanting to come back and be a part of the university and talking about the expansion. Those are all wonderful things. But just real quickly, real briefly, talk about, Things like this uh, Down East Classic and why it is important, you know, to the universities and helping that growth and continuing that growth. And the community. Too, and the community. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely the community effort. You know, this is something that our alumni get excited about, the community in Rocky Mount. And even those in our Elizabeth City community, they travel. They travel. It's always a great turnout. Mm -hmm. And so we're excited about hosting Livingstone Bears on Saturday. Kickoff is 4 p.m. at the Rocky Mount Athletic Complex in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. And uh, tailgating will be there. And we'll have an after party at the hotel. It's oh. an all black. We're all black. Um, the <laughs> National Alumni Association is hosting that. So we're excited about the weekend and meeting the bears on the gridiron. Mm -hmm. That is right there. Well, Dr. Distant, thank you so much uh, this morning for dropping on. We was excited when we yes. found out we, we can get you on today. It's going to be a great yeah. weekend for you guys. The best of luck, and, and we'll thank see you down you. the line. You take care. Thank you. I'm coming to get one of them flights now. <laughs> yeah, we're okay. we're we coming like down. You have an open invitation. There you go. Just <laughs> drop me off in Costa Rica. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Dr. All right, Dr. Dixon, take, take care. Take care, all right? All right, bye. Uh, man, that's that's pretty special. She's special, man. She's, she's very I mean, special. She, I, I, I'm trying to see. She's dynamic. Brilliant. Yeah, she, yeah she's <laughs> dynamic, man. Yeah, see if I can get me a couple. Yeah, you know, you yeah, gotta, yeah. They went from two planes to 13. Yeah. That's pretty good growth. Man, I, that's crazy to think about it. <laughs> you got, they got their own fleet. But real, real, hey, real, 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 real quickly, Pam. That's pretty good. We'll be remiss if we don't get you a chance to talk about a school that you're familiar with. Livingstone. Yes, Stone. yes. They, they are playing yep. in the Down East Classic. Yep. That's uh, Livingstone College. They call them the Blue Bears. Yep. Blue Bears. Blue right. Bears, yes, where the president is Dr. Jimmy R. Jenkins Sr. Yeah, just um, where he's retiring. Retiring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, the for me, you know, it's, it's one of four colleges that is supported by a church that I belong to, the mm -hmm. African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. We have four colleges that we support, Livingstone mm -hmm. College, Clinton College, which I used to I have the opportunity to work for, um, Hood Theological Seminary, and Lomax Hannon Junior College. So Livingstone is located in Salisbury, just mm -hmm. up the street yep. okay. um, from Charlotte. It's a private, historically black college mm -hmm. that's secured by strong commitment to quality of instruction, academic excellence, and student success. So the football team is very excited uh, to come to this event. Coach uh, Sean Gilbert, he talks about he has a young team. Mm -hmm. So it's a very young team. He's in his rebuilding stage. Um, but, but this is a, a smaller college with a smaller um, stadium. So they don't get the opportunity to play in front of eight to 10,000 people. Right, right, so it's a right. very big, very big opportunity for the school. It's great exposure and everything. So it's exciting. So let's go, Livingstone College. Well, there it is, the Donnelly's Classic. The Donnelly's Classic. HBCU.